Alright, this video is called Shit Hits the Fan, My World is Collapsing. Alright, I don't know if this happens to everybody or just some people or uh, or everybody at some point in their life, you know, I don't know, but it feels like like my world you know, nothing to do with shit hits the fan. Well, maybe a little to do with shit hits the fan, but but maybe that's just like twenty percent or whatever. Uh, you know, the economy and stuff. But I'm not gonna go into detail on what's going on in my life or whatever. But I feel like I'm like in the one of the hardest points in my life, and I'm scared that it could get hard than this because because uh, it's already hard and it's like if I didn't have the brain I had the, the mental toughness that I have which is not a lot but you know it's it's something you know it's uh you know I've I've done kind of like yoga and that stuff and I've been through a little bit of stuff and I've overcome stuff and I I've dealt with a lot, and uh, I'm like 28 years old, but I feel like I've dealt with enough to have like a mind toughness to go through a lot of stuff. Like I, you know, I have I have family, I have a job, I have a house, and I have uh, you know a car. Uh, let's see what else. Did I say family already? I have my parents, my kids, my wife, dogs. I mean, I have a rooster and a chicken. But just my mind, like, goes through, like, a lot of mental tough, uh, not toughness, mental, I guess, mental, like, stress about... Like I said, I'm not going to go into detail, but just about everyday stuff and stuff, you know, I mess up on and, you know, I make big mistakes and little mistakes and I make all kinds of mistakes and kind of like at one point in your life, like they all come together and you're like, you know, you become this person with all kinds of mistakes. Like maybe you're doing like t decently, you know, I'm able to, you know, try to be a good person or whatever, but I've messed up so much that, you know, I carry a lot, like, on my shoulders, like, as far as my mind goes. Like, if somebody were to, you know, just look at me, they're like, okay, why is he so, you know, stressed or depressed or, you know, a regular person couldn't see, you know, why I would have anything to suffer about or whatever, but... In my head, where nobody, you know, knows, because nobody can see inside anybody else's head, I'm literally, you know, carrying, like, a 150 boulder, you know, either on my back or on my shoulders, like, so that's, that's how I feel, like, every, not every day, but most days, I feel like that, and I've gotten to the point where this boulder that I'm carrying is as it's ever been like let's say I was, you know as a child maybe you know I had a little bit of problems maybe it was like 20 pounds or 30 pounds as a teen 40 pounds you know as a young adult in my early 20s maybe it was like a 60 or 70 pound boulder and you know I was able to deal with it fine because it didn't weigh a lot but now it's getting to like 150 and I'm like holy fucking shit I'm scared it's gonna weigh I'm scared I'm going to add more shit to my plate or this world's going to add more shit to my plate where it's going to weigh 170, 180 to where I'm barely hanging on because it's, it's getting up there to where it's, it's pretty stressful on my mind. And like I said, if I didn't have a, a mental toughness, I wouldn't be able to, you know, get out of bed with this 150 pound boulder on my back or whatever. But luckily, I have a mental toughness. But I'm—I don't know how. 
you know, much more I can take, you know, before. Something that's helping me carry this boulder is that I know if I give up, then it'll only be that much worse. Instead of me carrying that boulder on my back, the boulder's going to be on top of me, you know, and then I can't get it off. So I'm going to make things worse if I give up. So I have no choice. I can't give up. I can't, you know, I can't make any more costly mistakes to where it adds another 20 pounds because that's just going to be too much. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to talk about the stuff. Some of it's little. Some of it's big. Some of it's, uh, you know, just afraid and... Some of it's afraid for like other people who might not have the, you know, the mindset where I have, where they, they're unable to deal with stuff as good as me. And like me, I feel like I could deal with, hopefully this never happens, but like, let's say like an arm cut off or something or a leg. I feel like I could, de I don't want this to happen, but I could, you know, de I have the mental toughness to deal with it. Um, of course, it's never happened to me, so I can't say for sure, but I, I you know, I feel like it. I feel like it because I've lost jobs before and, you know, I've stayed strong and got through it, of course, with help from my parents and the government, but I've gotten, you know, through stuff and then I've gone through kind of a divorce and, you know, really tough stuff. I haven't you know, lost my kids ever, that might be tough, but I don't know, I feel like I've gone through, like, a lot, I don't know yet, though, but right now, I feel like the boulder's 150, and it's the heaviest it's ever been, and I don't know if it's just this month, or if it's gonna keep weighing that much, you know, from here on, or if it's gonna lose some weight, anyways, let me know what you think, Alright, that's all. Long video.